are going pretty well for the front ensemble right now. This time of year is always a little challenging just because we're you know, fighting to stay caught up with the drum corps in terms of music. The uh, pit is always the last section in the drum corps to get their music because they write the brass first and then the battery parts. Uh, and then the front ensemble parts get written to that. So the past couple weeks have just been cranking to get all the music learned and comfortable so we can finish the show in preparation for the weekend of shows we just had. This time of year we're traveling long distances and short periods of time. So a lot of times a day for the front ensemble will look like we'll, we'll finish the day, we'll load the truck, we'll head on to the next housing site. In the morning they'll have to unload, then we'll maybe have a couple hours on our own to work on things and then we get into full ensemble rehearsal and then at that point we're loading again and either going to do a performance or loading to go to the next housing site. So I guess the challenge for us has been just making sure we're staying productive and using all of our time super efficiently so we're still getting everything we need done even though we don't have a whole lot of time on our own to rehearse. Uh, this year, I think the design team, just as a way to challenge themselves to think differently but also to just create a different sound texture just in general for the show. Uh, we're actually not using any concert bass drums, we're not using any gongs, and we're really for the most part not using any cymbals. So we're using ribbon crashers, we're using wind chimes, zill bells, critales. We have a mic kick drum and we're also using certos as well as sound design to try to emulate the normal swells and orchestral sounds you would normally hear from a drum corps pit. 